What's up everybody? All right, so before we go on vacation, we thought we would film how to wrap up your artwork and ship it out. This is basically everything you need. Wrappy stuff, it's very... Wrappy uppy. Wrappy uppy. We got that's, this from... That's e-science, by the way. Wrappy uppy is e science term. We got very, this from um, Home Depot. Home Depot. At right, the, right, right at the checkout. Exit. Right at the exit. Um, Somebody sent this to us. Laura Taylor. Laura Taylor. Um, it's perfect to tape your boxes up. You need some peanuts. Do not eat these. They're not edible. You need some bubble wrap. And a marker. And your artwork. First off, finish the back as we do. Did you sign it? Um, yeah, ATD, 2018. Or you want me to sign it, sign it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, that is a marker. I was like, uh, okay. marked. Depending on where you would like to sign it, you can sign it on the front. Um, this is kind of thin on the side, but I guess you would leave it up to your client if it's not signed, whichever way they want to hang it. But if you like it the way, just sign it here. If you don't care how they hang it, Sign it on the bottom right of the side that you want it hung up at. So if you prefer it to be hung up this way, you would want to sign it right here on the side if you don't want to sign it on the front, if you want to leave it up to your client on how you want to let them. Or you can sign it in the middle if you want. You, you could sign it right one. here. Yeah, you know, It's your artwork. Sign it wherever you want. Yeah, to. you can sign it wherever you want. Um, that's up to you. But we normally sign it on the side. I used to sign it in the middle until I got it just a little bit off and it looked dumb. So, place your painting in the, in the middle of your pre-cut bubble wrap. Get you a little tape. For this part, you can just use um, like masking tape. It doesn't have to be like packaging tape. It doesn't have to, but if you have it, use it, it's whatever. Um, and if I sound um, like I'm rushing, I'm just about ready to go on vacation, so. All right, so now you have this wrapped. If you want, you can actually wrap the painting with this before, or you can wrap it with this first, and then. We like to get the corners first. Corners. Um, with a resin artwork, we like to not send anything that has resin on it out until about a week after we've done, we're done painting it. That way it gives the piece time to fully cure. And because if you were to send this off, like the day after you paint it, by the time it got to where it was going, you'd have little bubble indentions. Or you, this is one thing you can also do if you worry about it, lay the bubble wrap to where the bubble wrap the bubbles are facing up, so it's smooth on the canvas. If you have to ship it out the next day, that would be your I best I just bet. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would not. If you do have to ship it out the next day, give it a good coat of the, the cellophane wrap before the bubbles. Yes. Take your, take your peanuts. In your Trash. Trash. Fill it a little bit. Don't fill it up all the way. It's not necessary. Not necessary. Because this just needs to level out. Yeah. You want that just to be a little bit of... A little something. A little bit of that. Throw, this is when you would throw in your business card. Yes. Throw so business cards, markers. This is not a mystery box. Back. All right. Shut it. Laura Taylor, I love this tape dispenser. All right, address. First, put your name. I'm sure people know how to fill out their addresses, but I guess this is a start to finish video. You're um, silly. Address. West Hollywood. One, two, three, four, Lane. Dallas. Texas. 
to ship it. You're a goober. There you go. Anyways, that's how we package and ship our resin artwork. The deal with it is resin is super durable. It just is. As long as you've let it have time to cure, it will make it in the mail. Don't, it's not, it's not an issue. So just make sure that you let your clients know not to use a knife and just cut into it because then you risk cutting your painting. Yes, do not open it with a knife. Maybe a envelope opener or here to the sides or a key. Just Typically, lightly. people will open a package on the side that has the label, right? Because they're looking at it. It's for me. It's amazing. It's got my name on it. So what we usually do is put the painting in the box face down just as an extra precaution. Anyways, so great to see y'all. We'll Thanks see for you. tuning in. Mayana. Bye. I said bye.